it's arrived. The so-called quiet pump. So we're gonna pop this in, but first of all, I'm gonna put the camera down there and let you listen to the tick as it is installed right now. And then swap this over and then we can listen to the tick then see what you think I'm gonna let you be the judge of this one because um, my hearing seems to be different than a lot of other people's <laughs> Um, it's got all the same fuel lines, the same connectors, everything else is the same in there. All we've got to do now is go and switch it on and see what it sounds like. So, yes, definitely overfueling. What you can see right now is unburnt diesel. So before long, the back of the van will start looking brown. <laughs> like an old taxi that's not been cleaned in ages out near the exhaust. So it obviously looks ooh, spooky. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously that is unacceptable right now to have that amount of smoke billowing out the back of the van. Exciting day today. Today we've got some post and it's weird the stuff you get in the post because I have this. To celebrate, I am going to make some cornbread muffins with hot dogs stuck in the top with a bit of cheese as well. So I've got to do them six at a time because I have obviously the worst little toaster oven you've ever seen in your life. Um, but it is But it is exciting. Extra mature cheddar cheese, of course, extra. Baking powder, sugar, plain flour, pinch of salt, cornmeal, uh, vegetable oil, Brockwurst sausages, Aldi's finest, an egg. My spanky muffin tray, which was the only purchase that we bought from Amazon while we were travelling in Spain, and we had it delivered to Ronda, and it's amazing, and it fits in the oven. Best way to do your cornbread mix in any way is add all your dry ingredients to a bowl, then add all your wet ingredients in after that. I don't know why I'm assuming it just mixes all well together, but the greatest thing about this cornbread mix is it doesn't need a lot of processing. It literally is just like a stir until moistened, and then start doling it out kind of thing so for putting the dry ingredients in first to start off with it's a cup and a quarter of plain flour three quarters of a cup of yellow cornmeal a quarter of a cup of sugar and two teaspoons of baking powder so I'll put all of those in the bowl and give it a good mix so now I've stirred up all of the dry ingredients and pop the wet ingredients in so for the wet ingredients it is a cup and a quarter of milk quarter of a cup of vegetable oil an egg beaten and I did forget to put the salt in originally so it's just like a pinch of salt just give it a little bit of thing give it a stir around and um, once you've added all of the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients just give them a stir it doesn't need to be mixed thoroughly it just needs to moisten all of the all of the ingredients and even though it's called cornbread it's like a cake batter so you don't expect it to turn into a dough it would just be a lovely cake battery kind of uh, of texture 
now that's pretty much ready all i'm going to do is pop in a big old handful of that um, mature cheddar cheese i will oil up my baking tray and then put a nice big dollop um, into each of the muffin trays it rises by about a third so be careful how much you fill it if you just do it sort of three quarters of the way up then it will rise like a bit of a cake on the top with a little bit of a, a dome on there if you have a swanky oven that's got temperature setting on it ha, um, this is uh, 200 degrees um, which is about gas mark six I think if there's um, an option for either of those there for about 25 minutes uh, just keep checking it's one of those things pop a, a toothpick in and pull it out and see if it's um, if it's dry when you pop it out um, it, it's absolutely easy to, to check and see if it's done if you can stop eating them first so I'm gonna pop these in the oven even though my sausages have fallen over in true Mandy's an excellent blogger style vlogger blogger videoer youtuber whichever way you want to do it um, I took the um, muffins out of the oven because they were cooked and a skewer came out clean and then uh, we kind of tested them out a bit didn't we babe yeah so one's going in John's face at the minute uh -huh. I've had a big old bite of mine and that's how they look uh, the cornbread doesn't brown up as much as other stuff does I don't know why however it is sweet and cheesy and smoky with the sausage and, and very lovely look how perfect they are lovely bottoms I have to say you can't beat a good sausage in a muffin <laughs> you're filthy <laughs> 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 now get that in your mouth <laughs> get that in my mouth um. mm. 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 Ooh, it's a bit cold today um, and I'm a bit annoyed as well because uh, the diesel heat is packed up um, I've removed the pump because it smoked its tits off all last night and has clogged up uh, the inside of the diesel heater pump um, or the diesel heater anyway put the old pump back on as you know because I've got this new pump in my hand I put the old pump back on and still same situation so whatever this pump did um, has damaged the diesel heater or has choked it up inside coked it up or whatever so we're gonna have to take that out and um, yeah sort that one out um, bit peed off number one no it wasn't quiet it wasn't even slightly quieter than the other ones about the same um, it jerks around you know as it pumps just the same as the other one did so um, yeah see what this company uh, says about their product being uh, missold definitely not a quiet pump um, so hopefully I'll get my money back on that one but I bought it on my credit card so if they don't play ball then um, I'll seek my refund in other ways Right, so today's task <laughs> is to um, swap the diesel heater over. Um, like I said, they are cheap as chips. So for 80 something quid, I bought another one. So I'm going to pop that in there and then over time it will give me the opportunity to pull this one apart and obviously clean out the inside, which I'm assuming is going to be coked up in there. Um, but um, yeah, I wasn't going to faff around with it. It's not in the greatest location. Um, but we do need to take it out anyway because I've got a turret to put in there so a lot of people mentioned about the turret so I'm going to pop a turret in there um, the problem that I've got is I've already got a hole in my floor so I can't drill a circular hole with a drill in the middle so I'm probably going to have to um, use a uh, multi-tool or something like that to just basically chew through the floor and get it round shaped <laughs> so yeah get the turret installed get the old pump and um, the new heater back in get it all done um, I'll do I'm still waiting on parts for the uh, inline fuel system so direct to the van uh, fuel tank so I'm still waiting for parts for that so yeah this one's just gonna be all about get us working again like I said, it's been cold for the last two nights fortunately we do still have the LPG Truma heater and um, so we've been using that but obviously that's diminishing our um, gas supplies rapidly then um, so I probably have to go out in a few days and, um, and top up whereas we're hoping to get away with not having to do that. So that's the diesel heater up and working. 
obviously we've got the turret plate in there now so nice and neat install all finished off everything's still working there as well it's not smoking outside now at all so yeah that's us back to normal so i've wrapped my pump up as much as i can in this like neoprene stuff it's quieted it down a little bit but as you can see no smoke out now um, i'm using the original pump i'm not using the fancy new russian one that one was just um clogging up the system so um it was over fueling definitely over fueling um and then that's the uh, fitment of the turret so everything's now slightly better sealed off underneath there so i'm going to take myself out well not just myself i take mr cooper out as well i'm going to go for a nice little walk there's a lovely uh i think it's about three miles walk all around um it's like a nature reserve and some proper footpaths and things it's a really really nice walk it's muddy so the big boots are coming out and it's very windy so any footage from here is probably going to be a musical montage we're going to take our time once we could warm up a little bit because somebody who shall remain nameless decided that they were going to try a new diesel pump out yesterday and by doing that we've had no heating so it's been just a little bit chilly in the van so i'm going to leave him to do that talking about pumps and and turrets and things so he could be building a tank for all i know so uh, i'm just gonna leave him to it and me and Cooper will get right out of the way and go for a nice sploshy windy <coughs> muddy walk life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down This bit of the video is going to be slightly different First of all <laughs> first time in t-shirt in England since we got back so that's good going I think it's about 13 degrees today as you can see the fires on the go but yep that's it we've got some cooking to do so the first thing I want to point out is I've done a half upside down half normal side fire so I want a good fire but I also want good coals afterwards or good embers because when I cook with this bad boy I want to be able to put my embers on top so I just need to give it a bit of a clean that one's been seasoned so that's ready to go and then I'm going to be cooking on that and cooking on that over there and I'm going to be using this to control my cooking I bet the first question you're thinking is what's John going to cook? you should know the answer to that already I'm going to find out at the end aren't you? Well, you'll probably find out as I'm cooking it. But you should know already. Come on, it's me. Do you think I'm going to cook? All right, so that's my upside down, right way around fire lit. <laughs> So, like I say, I've got bigger bits of wood down to the bottom there and then my usual smaller bits going to the bigger bits at the top. So that means it's going to fire up like it would normally. Like you see right now, that's lit and that's going so no problem with that whatsoever. And then as it burns down to the bottom, it's going to get to those big pieces that are left down to the bottom and they're going to keep the fire going. I do use fire lighters and I do use this to light it. I've used my trusty knife for chopping up all the wood and my axe as well and then we can use this one which is adjustable just by changing 
that little pin in there so that means I can uh, lower and raise whatever I want over the top of the fire and yes you've guessed it I'm cupping gammon I'm doing roast little potatoes and eggs I'm going to use the Dutch oven and the um, skillet so the way I'm going about this is put a little bit of olive oil on the potatoes mix them up uh, put some American chip spice on there because well, I like that I think it's quite nice um, using the Dutch oven at, as you can see a bit of adjusted height mainly because the flames are quite bad obviously I've put the lid on now to uh, try and get them cooking as oven kind of set up now so we've got the potatoes in the oven as you can hear they're sizzling away so there's plenty enough oil and everything in there uh, it's about the right height doesn't seem to be burning the potatoes inside they seem to be okay um, but I've just tried with a skewer a little metal skewer um, and the potatoes are really hard still so I'd imagine that's going to be another 20 minutes at least I think this is taking too long so I'm going to chop potatoes wish me luck if you're asking questions about the lid you can cook in the lid as well it's got these little feet on it but for now I'm just going to put the lid back on to try and cut those potatoes faster by putting the coals on top of the Dutch oven lid it means the heat's going to be retained inside it and from the top so it's going to wait for the flames to die down a little bit more so I've got mostly coals I'm cooking on and then we'll get that gammon sorted out ooh slimy don't drop the gammon John Now I've never cut gammon before but I can already see the colours changing Flush it over Right, so I'm going to take these off the fire now Pop them up in there Now for the fun bit. Now I need to cook eggs. And I don't want to mess this up. And that pan's really warm still. Even with the heat proof gloves, I can feel how warm that pan is. So I'm thinking I put the pan on and actually take it off to cook the eggs. Because otherwise I think the eggs are gonna just like go poof. and I know I've been asking about stuff but it's your turn now to eat first it is isn't it oh, look at dippy yolks and everything <laughs> dippy eggs I'm well proud of dippy eggs oh my god babe so the first thing I'm after is is it all cooked it's all perfectly cooked really perfectly cooked Ooh, yeah. I'd be proud of this yeah cook this well Wow. The potatoes are so tasty, they fall into pieces and they've got little crispy bits on them where they've caught on the bottom of the pan but not burnt. Yeah. Very, very nice. Egg, 
perfect. Obviously, I bought a nice free range egg to start off with, so yeah. that does help a little bit. And the gammon is still dead juicy, but perfectly cooked through. Cool. Very, very well done. Ooh. Well impressed. Let me see what my own cooking's like. Ooh, bit of egg, bit of gammon. <laughs> Not really good. Mm. Wow. There you go. <laughs> wow, well, those potatoes are amazing. They're really good, aren't they? Well done, babe. Right, let's get cracking. Yep. Yeah, we put it in a different spot because we keep filming in the same place. So <laughs> you got half a bum cheek on. Yeah. Half but a bum cheek. <laughs> I'm just so impressed about my meal. So. You know what? Me too. And John and I were having a chat afterwards. Well, actually, why we were eating. Yeah, we didn't think masticating and chatting and talking, with you would yeah. have been really good. So we left the camera alone. Yeah, and because it was all cooked outside, it was on the cooler side anyway. So we thought we'd just get chowing because it was epic. However, John has never cooked gammon before no, never ever he's never cooked potatoes that haven't come in a packet with instructions on them before yep and he's never even cracked an egg no nope. before so that is why i am amazingly impressed it is also why john is amazingly impressed not only doing it but doing it for the first time over a fire mm. obviously we had a chat about a few little things beforehand mm. mainly about the potatoes how do i tell and that's what you said about the skewer yep and i was saying about the my favorite herbs and spices and things to put yeah. in it and then john chose something completely different yeah whole chip so spice much better. Well, it's not whole <laughs> chip spice it's american chip spice from hull from hull uh, but thanks Dave to dave and us, joe yeah. for that one yeah. <laughs> so we had a bit of a chat and i was like right i need to know the potatoes are done and then halfway through the potatoes i realized they were cooking really slowly so um, I chopped them up into pieces and actually I think that was like a pretty stupid stroke genius move. Mm. Most of your things can come under that category. <laughs> stupid stroke genius. <laughs> because um, I didn't chop them very well as you know. I so used the big knife I had just basically hacking at them in the pan. Uh, but they kind of got a bit mushed up and broken up and they did really well. But then that. the mushed up broken up bits went crispy. Mm. Mum. Tasty. Yeah, they were very good. I was just surprised he didn't come back in and ask me whether we should chop the potatoes because mm. I was kind of expecting that there was going to be a little bit of stuff like that. And, uh, and no, well impressed. Well impressed. You can cook for me again. Gammon egg and chips on the 1st of April. April Fools. <laughs> After 12. <laughs> All right, okay. Then. Fair enough. Then. Something that I've wanted to do for a while, actually, since getting the solo stove, and it was the um, like watching Chad, which is uh, living the van life, yeah, cooking over his solo stove and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, and of course we've Quite seen um, real life, yeah, the so bug out the, guys, yeah, bushcrafts and all bushcraft that kind of stuff. stuff yeah. yeah, they they do um, all that kind of pork stuff. cracklings and all yeah. sorts of really nice stuff over the fire. So yeah, yeah. you've been hankering for a go, haven't you? I know. And um, yeah, Gale I'll Force list. winds were great. I think we've had a few camera shakes and stuff from the Gale Force winds with it being propped up on the table. Yeah, if the audio is a problem or if the camera's a bit shaky, I do apologise, but um, I didn't expect there were 40 mile an hour gusts of wind. I was getting a bit agitated at the fact that um, it was obviously blowing the camera around and windy, and I didn't know what I was doing and <laughs> everything else. So if it looks like I wasn't enjoying myself, I kind of was, but I was quite nervous as well. he was very focused so there was no room for anything else there was nerves and focus and i'm doing this and, yeah i like that one bless you mm. yeah it was very good very good and that solo that solo stove just keeps winning oh yeah it's brilliant no oh, it's Love an amazing it. thing i'll link everything down below that i use so the skillet the dutch oven and um, the tripod thing with the chain um obviously solo stove um the knife as well all so that kind of stuff all there, the skillets so. and stuff did you say skillet i did say skillet i only got one skillet then the weather's got nice again it's 12 degrees and it was 14 degrees yesterday oh it's so nice of the sun i managed to get a load of washing done yeah and i've gotten and we, we bought I've a whirly gig. air dryer thingy yeah, yeah so, whirly gig. so we've got a whirly gig in the uh in in the garden in the garden Next to the van. It's just outside the van there, yeah, actually. Yeah, literally just outside all the door. All our garden. Oh, it's all of our Look at my them. land. <laughs> it's not yours. It's only a five and a night. Only a five well, and a night. Well, it's actually gone up now. It's seven and a night, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it's still cheap go. half the price. Yeah. And what I'm really loving right now, 
So we're getting solar. Yeah, coffee oh. power. No, charge the battery power. I think we got down to about 52% or something like that. Oh. Try and run the engine every other day, but um, we've got to go out tomorrow, got some shopping. And because of the diesel fiasco, we need gas sooner we than we gas thought. Yeah. So, yeah, a bit of an interesting week. Yes. Lots of lovely things done. Uh, one thing that I would probably not want to do again. Uh, thanks for mentioning about the turret. I can't remember who mentioned about the turret. For I the think we had a few people suggesting yeah. that, so that's really good. So all sorted out. I thought um, you were making a tank. Or something. Yeah, no. No, it's maybe one fun. day. <laughs> um, and we're still waiting for the um, part to do the pickup pipe from the main fuel tank as well, because mm. um, I've seen what I've got to work with, and the space inside is really small, so I can't use the pickup pipe that came with the diesel heater. No, it's that was a, like that, wasn't it? Yeah, it's got a big disc on, on the top. Yeah, so. and we've had the um, details from Mr. Boris about us finally, Freedom. hopefully, seeing the end of it all now. So yeah. I've just got to got to pace myself. Pace yourself. Pace myself. Not I pace all, yourself. No, pace. No, I no went. Pace going I, on. I went all bradford yeah you? well yeah something yeah, yeah. and i got Bless to pace that. got to pace myself because i yep. can get so excited so soon but yep. i cannot wait looking forward to it all oh yeah mm -hmm. mm. and on that note yes i think it's time to go i think so and i can smell your cooking so it's um i gotta go check on it yeah yeah otherwise we're gonna have burnt pie burnt food yeah right then right then <laughs> so take care guys <laughs> we'll see you soon we'll see you soon take care bye, bye.